hello everyone in this video we will fetch data from an api and we will display that back in a table using react.js so this is the api that we will use okay json placeholder a fake api for testing so we will use the user records we will fetch these users from this api and we will display them using react.js so let's get started this is the react app that i have created okay i have this fetch um, data this uh, component okay in this component we will implement our logic so first of all to fetch the data for that we will use axis library uh, you can use fetch api also fetch method but i am using axis library so first we will install that to install that simply you can uh, run like this command npm install axis okay i have already installed it no need to install it again let's check it here in the axis see this is the axis which is installed already and now we will use that let's first of all import that import axis from axis that has imported so now let's implement it so whenever we run our application so we should fetch the data from an api and display that in the table so first we will fetch data so let's for that we will write use effect hook okay which is run at the start of the application and let's write uh, uh, this is a function with us and the second uh, oh sorry the second parameter is array dependency so now here we will um, fetch the data so fetch data let's write axis that git method we will use git method and here we will, should write our url so our url would be this this is our url let's paste it here and then it work based on premises so here we will get the result and first we will console the result okay console.log result what we are getting and if there was any error catch that error before printing in the table so let's check it how it looks like okay i have called this page in app.js okay i have called that here so let's run our application let's close this run new so let's click on this url so we will move to our chrome browser so it's running so let's move to console let's come here to the console see we got this data okay this is the data that we got it came to data in the data area we have these 10 records okay uh, 10th records okay uh, from 0 start to 9th so these are the records that we have okay so now we will fetch them uh, in front them in a table so let's write for that come here and first we will store this uh, data in our variable and let's create a state const data set data we will use use state hook use state hook and this is array with us we will assign an empty array to that and instead of console we will write sit data we will call that method and we will set result that data okay this one let's check it this data result that data we will assign it these 10 records to this data variable that we have created so now let's use them container and uh, yes it is okay let's create one another view would be three and let's write here h3 fetch data from api react with axis okay now let's create our table inside the table let's create t head inside that table row th okay the first thing we should imply a uh, fit that is the id we can also pitch these uh, columns uh, header uh, columns uh, dynamically okay but i will because here we have more than one columns let's check it okay in our record in our record we have all these columns okay so i will just pitch id name and email and uh, also if we'd like to um, pitch the address okay so let's pitch the address also okay i will pitch all these name email and from address i will just pitch the city okay because in the address we have uh, many things but i will just pitch the city 
so let's write now um, our body tag inside that uh, we will use this data variable to pitch data dynamically data let's write curly braces data dot map we will use map function and inside that we have a user and an index let's write uh, return a table row and the key of the table row should be that would be key is equal to index which is should be a unique and here we should print our data first we should uh, display user user dot id and also user dot name and user dot email and for the address to uh, display the address so for that we should write uh, user dot address um, user dot address dot city so let's write like that what happened dot city yeah i hope it will work uh, so let's assign a class name to this table and let's check it now let's come here see we got our data okay these are the city names okay the city names that we have for example for the first one the city name is uh, let's come here to the address the city name is see this is the coon brew what is that i can't read it so it was the data that we fetched and we display in a table from api okay i hope this video was uh, helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and like this video comment down thanks for watching